Hello again, Ice Dancers of YouTube, and welcome back to another Technical Tuesday. Today, in part two of our three turns, we're going to be advancing from our first method of turns, which was predominantly based on figures technique, using twist to control the turns. Now moving on to using knee action to control the depth of the circle, a subtle amount of lean, and so on. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe because we're gonna to continue to delve deeper into our technique of every single turn that we're learning. And we're gonna get cracking. Advancing from basic technique to flowing three turns is a process of refinement. In this video, we'll be learning four drills to increase control of alignment, lean, circle depth, and the icing on the cake, a steady, smooth exit glide. Let's begin with the skating side lead. Here on the left foot, with the left hip and shoulder foremost. We're going to learn this simple drill to enhance control of the skating side, free side and knee action. The aim is to coordinate the rise of the knee and closure of the free leg to a floating T without losing the lead of our skating side. To achieve this, we must be mindful of keeping the hips facing slightly outside of the circle and drawing the free leg in along a direct line towards the back of our skating foot. The moment we start to draw in is the moment we're most likely to lose control of our skate side lead. But with practice, we refine our control, so be persistent. Our next drill is for developing whole body lean, or as I like to call it, commitment. Once we're able to skate with adequate flow, it's possible to develop lean safely. With a skate side lead, a cleanly aligned free leg and weight in the heel of the skate, we are aiming for whole body lean, a single unbroken line from the blade edge to the top of the head. As you experiment with this drill, you may find your glide spirals inward similar to the entry to a spin. This is a positive sign that you've manipulated your circle using whole body lean. Congratulations, you're capable of commitment to your outside edges. And now it's time to join our first two skills together. Skate side lead with a soft knee and committed to whole body lean as the circle spirals inward, gently rise in the knee. The circle shrinks quicker and turning feels natural and spontaneous. Side by side, we can see how the rise in knee becomes a catalyst promoting the turn. And finally, controlling the exit. On the spot, stand on your would-be gliding foot. Turn the shoulder line to the inside of your circle and assist your balance with a light toe pick contact to avoid wobbles. We are going to get used to coordinating a small but strong body check to coincide with our arrival to the backwards glide. Shoulder line pivots clockwise one quarter, return, one quarter, return, one quarter as the foot turns. Let's try that again. One, return, two, return, three together. Skating is a sport but its skillful execution is also largely art. Artists work tirelessly to blend their paint, sculpt with realism and accuracy, which all takes time. For skaters, seeking mastery means perpetual ongoing refinement, smoothing out movement connections until the stages of your technique cannot be seen. We hope you've enjoyed our video today and that you're inspired to pursue your journey of mastery. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we absolutely love to see your comments coming in, and we'll see you next time.